Okay, Craig here again with a video that's going to piss off a lot of people, and I'm doing that with the full intent of doing so. You need to be woken up, and I'm talking about anti-nuke activists. And the damage you have done to our world. Yes, you. Now, it's one thing to be anti-nuclear as far as nuclear weapons. Everybody could be that, and I wouldn't have a problem with that. But however, you've already let that cat out of the bag, and you're not going to put it back in. So that's a whole other issue. What we're going to be talking about is nuclear power here and your demonization of nuclear in general, and your propaganda campaign of lying to the people of the world. That's right, I'm going to piss you off, and deservedly so, because you have caused so much death and destruction in this world that I can't even begin. Well, I'm going to begin now. More than 50 years ago, the anti-nuke propagandists have been working very diligently and hard, and convinced the people of the world that nuclear is some sort of anti some sort of Devil, uh, 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 devil, uh, evil demon that needs to be put back in its bag and gotten rid of completely. And we're seeing even trends towards uh, countries trying to do the same right now. Germany and even Japan just announced yesterday that they're going to be doing the same. And other countries too. This would be one of the worst things to happen to this world. Uh, all right. I'm not anti-nuke and I'm not pro-nuke. And I'm for reasons I'm going to be going on through here in, in, a, in a bit. But here's what's happened. For more than 50 years, more than 50 years ago, there was something developed called uh, a thorium-based uh, nuclear power plants, uh, molten salt reactors. Most people don't even some some physicists don't even know about this. It's well established science already that these plants that were developed over 50 years ago would have an intensively more safety than our current power plants have because our current power plants suck in a lot of ways. Nuclear power plants. But it would be extremely more safe, passively so, to where man couldn't even make a mistake. And they would uh, have, the nuclear waste would be so much more reduced. In fact, these plants, which couldn't be used to make nuclear weapons, by the way, these plants would be taking spent fuel from our current nuclear power plants and using them as fuel in those plants and further reducing the radioactivity down to where you could store it in your basement kind of thing. So making the nuclear waste much more safe. So you're solving the nuclear waste problem almost completely, and you're solving the safety problem almost completely, compared to our present power plants, which are technology that's like 70 years old now, 60-some years old, our present pl nuclear power plant technology. Because of the work of you anti-nukes, you have purposely disallowed the progression of this that's already been discovered and already been proven You've disallowed the advancement of the next generation of nuclear energy. So you've put us in a position where we're stuck with our current power plants, which aren't the best in the world. They're getting better, and there's very few being built now, and it's declining because it's, you've created a political hot potato for anybody in, in, in any government in the world to even talk about it starts getting shot down because of the ignorance and the lies that you have been promoting all throughout these last 50 50 years. Yeah, I'm going to piss people off and the comment section is going to be a buzzing, but if it wasn't for you, all these present nuclear power plants we have that are, most of them are 50 years old or so, would have been slowly phased out where we might not even have any anymore because the thorium-based plants make so much more sense. You have stopped the progression of nuclear energy by your bullshit. Yes, I said it. And in doing so, you have created a Three Mile Island, a Chernobyl, a Fukushima, because those plants might have already been gone if it wasn't for your stupid activism, your ignorance. Radiation is everywhere in our environment. There's radiation in that lake behind me. There's radiation in the air. There's radiation in this table here. I'm radioactive. Everything in the world has a radioactive signature. It's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, if you think about it, Japan. Japan had Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and Fukushima, yet they still live longer than anybody else on the entire planet. But no, you want to demonize radiation. Mild amounts, mild amounts of radiation has actually been shown to be, to be good for you. Actually, look up radiation hormesis. But anyway, I'm going to have a lot of links below, backing up everything I've said. So, because of you anti-nuke activists, we've had these accidents. Whether or not they would have been replaced by the time, you know, whether we would have been completely 100% thorium by now, we might have been working on fusion by now. 
the next generation after that. But no, because we got to kick and scream about nuclear and put it under the rug where technology superior to what we have is out there that you have failed to allow develop because of your bullshit. Okay. You have caused numerous deaths. Now, nuclear energy is actually the safest of all the energy methods we have, yes. Even safer than solar and wind, yes. Blow me. It's the safest we have. But you want to cut it down. You'd rather go to fossil fuels or some other form that's going to kill more people and cause more damage to the environment. Nuclear is actually one that has no carbon footprint, essentially, and it's going to be safe. It's going to be even better for the environment than solar and wind. Again, below me. That's right. Nuclear is safer and uh, better for the environment than even our bad nuclear power plants we have today. But you want to get rid of it. You're going to replace it with coal, which kills millions. You want to replace it with all these other forms that are going to kill more people and cause more damage to the environment. What the hell is wrong with you? You are responsible for these deaths and these power plant accidents. In my opinion, we could have already been so far advanced with nuclear if it wasn't for your bullshit. All right. I could go on forever. I don't want to make this too long. I want to piss off enough people and to try to wake them up. We need a, a video like this to go viral. There's nobody that's in the, the camp of the truth with dealing with radiation, hardly anybody. There's very few. I'll post, I'll post some pro-nuke videos as well below. But even they have an agenda and they're lying to you at times too. So be wary of that. Or, or twisting the truth or cherry picking facts. So remember that. Again, I am not pro-nuke, but I'm, I am pro-thorium reactors which we should be producing more than half our energy of this world with that type of technology, or even more, because it makes so much more sense than what we have today and what are the, are the other options are out there. Until battery storage technology has advanced to the, po the point where a wind or a solar could make any sense whatsoever, because they don't, they could supplement a little bit, but it's so much more problems with wind and solar and we could do entire videos on that. Very severe problems with wind and solar. And the, the key one is storage. You just, we just don't have the battery technology. Until there's a huge advancement in battery technology, wind and solar is not the way to go 100%. Like you greenies want to claim it is. It's just not going to work. Unless you want to turn off your power 90% of the time and not have any power at night, then, yeah, then go solar and wind. See how that works for you. Are any of you willing to do that? If you are, hey, have at it. So, I, I, again, I could go on forever, but I guess I'll end it now. I have a lot of information about radiation and Fukushima and the accidents and so on on this channel. I wanted to get this video out to slap a few people around that deserve it. Thanks for watching.